But through practice, you'll find that this second key is so important that it's the foundation for, for your success. And that is listen to one mantra. Listen to one mantra. That's all. There is, all you have to do is chant one mantra. That's all. The mind has a tendency to move fast. It's thinking 16 rounds. It's already chanting 16 rounds while it's chanting wherever it is. It likes to go forward. When you're on the Hares, it's on the, it's on the Ramas. You know, it's like when you're on the Krishnas, it's on the Ramas. We, go, we generally chant too fast and we don't hear. Speed comes by what we say, absorption. Absorption comes by concentration. Concentration comes by slowing down. So if, if you can hear just one mantra, that is enough to purify your heart. Or one, one, one name, actually. No, you can speak of one mantra. So slow down. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. This will be a very important guiding principle in your japa. I find that when I do my job in the morning, I start off like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Till my mind actually catches the sound. And then when the mind catches the sound, then it starts to become absorbed in that sound. And then concentration starts to go deeper and deeper like that. But japa is not a race. Japa is not a It's not... The idea of getting your rounds done is one of the most detrimental thoughts in, the, in, in destroying the quality of our japa. When you start thinking, I have to finish my rounds. That, then what does it mean? That means all you're concerned about is finishing your rounds. It's not about finishing your rounds. <laughs> You can imagine Krishna. Krishna is on the other side. He's thinking, this person wants to get rid of me by finishing. <laughs> he doesn't really want to do this, but he does it. So it's not about meeting me. It's about getting his vow done. So I'll be back. I'll see you later. <laughs> Krishna just, he's gone. If you, the idea is to try to come in contact with Krishna through the sound of his name. So this one mantra, just like when we, when we just did that chanting, just, just if you can remember, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Now just think, when we just did that, what part of the mantra did you focus on. Where did you, did you start from the first Hari or did you catch the sound when you were some, we were still on the Ramas? You know, the mind is like, where is it? And it's not really connected to the sound. <laughs> to, re to hear is not just to, just like the sound is just somewhere out there. Hearing means really focusing on that sound. So therefore this one mantra meditation program is very, very important because when you find yourself chanting and you're not listening, then go back to this key and carefully chant one mantra. In other words, slow down. You'll see yourself sometimes when you're, your mind will go off and all of a sudden you'll just realize I'm not listening. And for whatever reason, then you just stop and you again slow down. You know, it's, if it takes you longer than you plan to chant your rounds, then that is okay because the goal is not to finish but to to, to purify our heart. And therefore, it is japa meditation. It's not like japa or what's it called racetrack. You know. <laughs> If you're chanting nicely, the round should be, be anywhere between seven and eight minutes, even six and a half, like that. You can time yourself. But, but watch your mind. Now, this, the, sec, the second one, this, this helps to keep the mind focused. 
But you'll still see, even when you slow down and try to do this thing, the mind will say, what's going on? What's going on? It doesn't want to do it. The mind doesn't like to behave. It's very much restless, just like I'm speaking to now, and some of you are not listening. But that's all right. I speak anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> But I can tell. I can tell when everyone's concentrated because the energy comes. When the energy doesn't come, I can see it's going this way and that way because the thought process. You can pick up on people's energies. Just by, That's why I can see each one of you completely right now. I know if you're listening or not. And Krishna knows if you're listening. But you don't have to listen to me. It's not in <laughs> but, but since you're here, why not? <laughs> Might as well. The point is that this is what we do with our japa, too. That's the point I was trying to make. That we're chanting the holy names, but we're not focused. Because the mind doesn't want to be controlled. It doesn't. As soon as you try to control the mind, it becomes more restless than it was when you didn't try to control it. That's the nature of the mind. The mind is very restless. So this, this one mantra program helps to keep the mind from going all over the place. Now when you start to hear, the mind will say, oh, you're doing good. And then after a few seconds, you're not doing good. Because the mind will start to analyze what's going on. It likes to do that also. So the third thing is, well that's not the third one. The third one is, which is very similar, Let's see, the third key. The second key is listen to one mantra. You got that one. Okay, the third one is hmm, state your determination. What are you doing when you're chanting? What are you trying to do? Have a, have a what is called your sankalpa, your goal in mind. What am I doing? Am I just trying to fulfill a vow? Or your determination, what is your determination? What do you want to achieve by your chanting? And keep that focus because that determinated goal will be used when the mind goes off. Are you just simply chanting so you can um, uh, get good ideas on how to do your work? Like that. What is your determ what is Why are you chanting? State your determination for chanting. I think Bori John expresses that. I'll read a little bit from that section so you get a clearer understanding of what he's saying. State your determined. Giving the mind a simplified task only works in conjunction with the third key, determination. To direct the mind, we need to form a statement of fixed determinate purpose. The mind will always tell us we have something more important to do than chant Hare Krishna. We have to be determined enough to disregard the mind and to focus on the mantra. In my chanting, I have seen that unless I form a goal, a sankalpa, I generally will not have the ability to listen carefully to one mantra. Understand the task and be determined to execute. All I have to do is to listen to one Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Nothing more and nothing less. So you get the point? Don't be and to the next mantra, being that mantra. This mantra is the only one you're in. There's no path. Don't lament about, oh, how many times you didn't hear. Oh, I just blew it. And don't think in terms of the future, well, will it get better? Just focus on that sound like that. If, it causes, if you have to slow down, do that. But keep that connection with the sound. That's the important thing. The sankalpa can be quickly, can be stated quickly and subtly. It can touch our thinking as lightly as a, a gentle breeze, and there's no need to pause between mantras to affirm it. We simply have to remember why we are sitting with the bead back in hand. You get the point? Yeah, it's not just a ritual. We have to understand why we're doing it. Chanting japa is not an invitation to the mind to wander wherever it chooses. It's the time to enter our personal relationship with Krishna. This is the most important thing. It's a time to enter into our personal 
relationship with Krishna. Everything we aspire for is available in the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. But to fulfill those aspirations, we must give the mantra our full attention. When we have gathered the necessary determination, we should then focus the mind on the simple task of listening to one mantra. Okay, back to that. We shouldn't worry about the mantra that will follow the one we're chanting now, and certainly we shouldn't worry about the one that had we have preceded. 